Hi, I'm Andriano Lanusi and welcome to this preview video about FireMonkey. This preview shows a Delphi XZ2 application using the FireMonkey platform on Windows, Mac, and iOS. Let's take a look how it works. Let's start looking at my Delphi XZ2 IDE, which is running on Windows 7 64 bit. My host machine, in this case, is a Mac OS X. And here I have a FireMonkey HD application with some controls like a button. I have here an image and another image. This first image has a bitmap animation. This bitmap animation allows you to change between one image and another, which is defined here on the start value and stop value. Under the image, I have some 3D components. The first one is the viewport 3D, which allows me to use a 3D elements in a HD application, and as well, I can use the HD elements inside the viewport 3D. So in this case, I have my FireMark uh, logo on inside uh, layer, layer 3D, and as you can see here, I have some rotation angle properties, and if you wanna, you can rotate the layer, and it's going the, 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 the component is going to update your properties related with the change you made on the design time. So I can just come here and get back to the position I was before. And at the bottom, I have the Delphi logo, which is as well on the, on, inside another layer 3D. So let's see how what this application does and take a look after that in the code. I'm going to run this application as a 64-bit Windows. Just click it and run. So in this case, I have the application. The uh, bitmap animation is already in action. Let's see what the start button is doing here. In this case, I'm running a different animations, move from top to bottom, right to left, and move the fireman icon inside the screen. So as you can see, many different animations running at the same time. When you look at the code here, I, it's pretty simple. So I have the animations I decide to do for the image one, in this case, in FireMonkey, what, when you are doing animations, you are animating properties. In this case, I define the animation properties for position, rotation angle, and so on. And I have here the animations for image 2, the animations for the icon, the Delphi icon you saw on the bottom, and for the FireMonkey logo animation. In case you want to run this application on 32-bit Windows, I just need to change my platform here for 32-bit Windows and compile and run this application. As you can see here, I have the same components, the same effect, the same look and feel for this application. So the application behaves the same like in 64-bit. Now let's say you want to run this application on Mac OS X. You just change your target platform for OS X. In my project, I have the IP address for my OS X here. I start my platform assistant, which is going to be enabled to deploy and debug the application on Mac and run. When you run, the IDE is compiled the application and preparing to deploy. So in this case, I have here my application running on Mac. You can see here Mac. When I just start, click start, you see the animations running on the same way you saw in Windows 32 and 64 bits. So the same behavior, but with the Mac look and feel. Now let's say you want to run this application on iOS. So in this case, you have to create a FireMonkey ATD application for iOS. I have the project here and I have the form designer for iOS. In this case, I just use, I'm going to run this application on iPad. So we have the same components here. So I have the start button and as you can see, this is uh, uh, the same code that I was using for Windows and Mac. So to run this application on my iPad simulator, I just export the project to Xcode. I just integrate the command line here on my IDE open the Xcode, the project, and you see the project referencing my, my, my code. Now you have my, my application running on iOS simulator. In this case, I'm using the iPad. 
So if I just click run here, you see all of the animations, all of the components behave the same, having the same behavior I had for Windows and Mac. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to FireMonkey. If you want to learn more and see a deep dive demonstration about all of the great stuff coming in Red Studio XZ2, register today for the World Tour. The World Tour is coming to a lot of cities around the world and you can have the opportunity to see live the great stuff coming on this release. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the Red Studio XZ World Tour.